All right, Alex, um, this is a high school prank that I think uh, is on par with something you could have done. Hey, um, I wanted to do something similar. Yeah, so I had too many suspensions. I would have gotten kicked out. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> what's amazing to me is like everybody thought this was such a good chuckle, but like I, I feel like Alex, if you had done this, you would have just been expelled. <laughs> right. Yeah. So like it really depends on like the school that you're in or the school district you're in, I guess. But in this case, this was not someone like playing it on like one projector. It was not somebody like sneaking it into their presentation. Um, this was like a full like kind of compromise situation where they were able to start uh, exploring the school's network space and they were able to identify a bunch of default credentials and basically act as um, threat actors, I guess. And they figured out how to access all of the uh, projectors and stuff that the school oh, wow. was using across the entire school district. Not just a school, hmm. but a school district. So, um, you know, this is this is the video of it. Uh, you can see they have a countdown. Nobody knows what's going on. Uh, everyone's confused. You know, they're just trying to make the best of it and figure out what's happening. And you know, you can you can figure out where all of this is leading. I am sure. I like the suspense he builds. Yeah, like doing it for a full two minutes <laughs> just means like class like comes really to a stop, and then they get hit with it. Perfect. <laughs> That's wonderful. Flawless. And of course, this is unfolding across you know the entire school district. Uh, so this sort of this sort of hacking, again, like takes a lot more work. The yeah. fact that um, this person also wrote up their entire like process of doing this is a really really cool read. So <laughs> if you want to know how it's possible for an entire school district to get rickrolled, just imagine what um, you know somebody with less good intentions could have streamed onto the screens of the entire school district simultaneously. It's really good that the student reached out and let them know that they were vulnerable um, through a demonstration which was uh, you know, very tame compared to what it could have been. Um, and this is just an example of, well, for one, really depends on what school you go to. Because if you pull this at the wrong school, they will just expel you. Yeah. Um, but two, you know, letting somebody know that there's a vulnerability without doing something like malicious or scary. Like in some ways I feel like the student, unless they got permission to do this, like really like laid it all on the line for, for a really a really admittedly great prank. Um, just because if the school district had not this was, thought this was funny, several of the things that they did were arguably illegal. So I love this prank. I think it's super cool. Just be careful. If you try to pull this in uh, you know, a place you don't have permission, it's, it's very possible, depending on how much disruption you caused, that you would uh, get in a lot of trouble. Yeah. All right. That's all we have this week. Thank you guys very much for joining us. If you haven't seen any of the other great, great Verona's content we have out there, make sure to check out the Verona's brand channel, where our sometimes co-host Killian is also doing the threat update. And he has a new like mini like short version of the threat update that people really like. So make sure to check it out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.